Thank you, Raoul. I love stories, don't you? But some of my favorite stories seem pretty dark. You see, this is a story about human superstition. In this case, the superstition of numbers. You see, in societies that have numbers, almost all of them have numbers that are unlucky. In much of Asia, it is a number four. And here, in the West, it is the number 13, the basis of my little story. A superstitious gentleman once invited his lively, red-blooded friends to dinner. As the group assembled, he counted the number of people present. On one side of the room, there were one, two, three, four, five, six people. He was number seven. But on the other side of the room, there were eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen people for dinner. Well, that'll never do. You see, being superstitious, he knew that the number thirteen was really unlucky. So he asked one of his equally superstitious friends to leave, which they were happy to do under the circumstances. Relieved, but still concerned, he counted the number of people again. One, two, three, four, five, six. He was number seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen people for dinner. Strange. He hadn't noticed anyone new arrive. Confused, he asked another person to leave. Now he was positive that there were only 12 people, but something inside him said, count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. He was number seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen people for dinner. Was he part of some hideous cosmic joke? He insisted that another person leave and kicked out one more to be sure. And they all sat down to dinner. The very next day, the newspaper explained everything, how they found 13 people at that dining room, each blackened by death. Food poisoning. Bon appetit. Back to you, Roll.